Good morning everyone, welcome to the video. So I'll be honest, I'm filming this intro after I've gotten all of the other footage uh, because the intro that I originally filmed, I deleted and then deleted it from the deleted uh, content place on your phone. I still wanted to share with you the preparations that we've been doing to get our seeds started and we got a little greenhouse, so we got our grow lights, we have to get those set up, but we've gotten some of our seeds started. This is just the beginning of seed starting, which is honestly one of my favorite things about gardening because it's, it's just the beginning, you know? It's the beginning of everything that is going to come to fruition and flourish in the next couple of months. The things that we've done over the past couple of weeks, we've just taken what time we had to do the things that we could. We did the best we could and carved out, you know, a little bit of time, 30 minutes here, 45 minutes here, an hour here, little bit by little bit. And that is how things get done. And the time that you have to dedicate is enough. I hope you enjoy the video. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Cue the montage. Was I supposed to rip the top off like you did? You don't have to. Okay. Be the I, I, and I was, as much as I wanted to help out, I was always the kid that didn't want to sweat and didn't like being outside because I didn't like bugs. And both she of those didn't things- didn't like dirt. So sweat, dirt, and bugs are very prominent in gardening and farming and homesteading. Oddly enough. Oddly enough. And that is one thing that I've had to, uh, Oh, over time, it's not been something that I've had to make myself adjust to, adjust to. I've just grown to love it and not mind the bugs or sweating as much as in years past. I learned so much from my dad when we were gardening together, but we spent so much time together in the garden and in the pasture and on the farm, and I loved every minute of it. I just never considered that one day I would have right. to be that gardener mm -hmm. because he was always there and all my life he had been the gardener, mm -hmm. which is one of the reasons that last year was our first year to garden in a very long yeah. time because he died from lung cancer and I quit. I couldn't go to the garden. I couldn't look at the dirt and seeds and think about it. And I, I remember I just him so much. the the year after he passed, we tried to yeah. plant some stuff, but it just didn't. It didn't Nothing grow. Worked. Nothing worked. Nothing. And it's I like remember the ground thinking was that morning. Is, if the ground, if our dirt and our ground was mourning his loss as much as we were, mm -hmm. I think he would be very proud of us. Though I think so. Um, he would laugh at me a lot because I still can't plant a straight row without a line. He always used to laugh at me because I would dig uh, holes to plant mm -hmm. bean seeds or whatever we were planting, and it would just be a zigzag. It's abstract. Abstract. It's modern. <laughs> Making it impossible for him to get the tractor down the road. Yes. I was confused. I got then confused three cabbage here. and then two yeah. gruff? Yeah. Two Brussels. Yes. Brussels. No. Two Brussels. Brussels. Yes. Yep. Oh, this is broccoli. This bodes well. <laughs> yes. So we just we in. just decided what we were planting where, and we've already forgotten. So I am such a perfectionist, and I, you know, when I'm cooking, I follow the recipe exactly. When I'm gardening, I need there to be a recipe or a certain way of doing things, and I need to do it correct. And I think there just isn't. A there's, there's not, and that there that's one of the things of, I struggle with. There are lots of suggestions for the ways that we should do things but there just simply is no perfect suggestion. Let's 
Once done, it's done. Hello everyone, and I apologize for how I sound. I've been a little under the weather the past couple of days, which is why I haven't really filmed, but we have a tiny little greenhouse that we got from... Where did we get it from? Rural King. We got it from Rural King. We were going to bring some of the things of dirt out here right now before we plant or plant them while we had them out here, but we decided not to because our chickens have decided that they have it as their mission to dig up and knock over every single container of dirt or seedling that we have. So we've got to get them in a place where we can protect them until we figure out a solution for our chickens. We planted those first two seed trays on February 7th and saw the first sprouts on the 10th. This is a full week later. Look at the growth! Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye! Thank you.